Greetings ladies and gentlemen, this is Sliced Lime and I'm here with a new redstone device machine thingy and this is going to be a tutorial but first of all I want to sort of show you what it does. This is something I call the End Adventure Recall System or EARS for short if you want and it's basically a multiplayer contraption. So I'm going to cut in some footage from my fan server where I did a live stream the other day and where I designed and tested this thing. So the basic idea is you have gotten your elytra from the outer rim of the end. Now, but because you're on a server, remember this is a multiplayer device, uh, you want a second pair or you want to help one of your friends get some wings too, but of course it gets harder and harder to find them the more you've picked out the immediate area. Now it's decently simple to just build an elevator or ladder or something up to the build limit and then just fly out from there and you'll get thousands of blocks away. It's a really nice and easy way to find an end city. However, getting back from there is a bit of a hassle. Very much of a hassle actually. And that's why I've built this system. It's a recall system and the point is you throw an ender pearl into the system just before you take off and fly. As you fly away the system unloads and then somebody can come into the end later on, go up to the machine and press a button to recall you and you end up right back here on the middle island of the end or whatever. So I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, we're here. Ours on uh, my fan server is built right smack in the middle of the <laughs> end island and then we built it out of obsidian to sort of uh, preserve as much as possible of it if we resummon the dragon. But of course you could do it somewhere else. If you really want to make sure that you don't accidentally get recalled, you should build this so far out from the end island that when players come here it's not going to get loaded. And for that you generally depends on your server's view distance setting, uh, but basically you want to go sort of 12 chunks out. There are two components to make this work really. One is just a way to get up to the build limit. Uh, so the most simple way is to just make a long pillar like this and put ladders on top of it. That would work perfectly. Uh, we use a uh, we use a minecart elevator thing. Much quicker way to get up, but you could use ladders or whatever. Depends on depends on how fancy you want to get. The part of this that I'm going to tutorialize is the recall part of it. And that is basically going to be a, a separate tower just next to this one. And it's going to be a redstone transmission signal with a bunch of pistons and stuff in it. So let's get started. First thing you're going to need is some way to recall the player. That's probably going to be a button or something. And that button needs to be hooked into a pulse extender. That, for instance, could be a hopper clock. That's what we used. And that would look something like this. You have two hoppers pointing into each other and a comparator pointing out of each hopper. Now we're going to put a redstone block on top of this one and then we're going to need a piston facing into that block. It's just a sticky piston and then on the other side we're going to place, oops, we're going to place a normal piston. Like so. Now you only really need two more things and that's two pieces of redstone dust on top of these things and a bunch of items in here. I think we used something like 16 or 18 maybe. I think it was 18. And you see once I put those in the clock starts running, the block goes over here and then it's gonna go back but then it's not going to cycle another time once all the items are back here. This is going to retract, but because this is not a sticky piston, this is a sort of delay circuit. And now we can put on here if we want, or whatever we want it, we can put our little button, and we now have our timing circuit. Now this is going to lead into our contraption here, and what the contraption actually is, is going to be a series of blocks with torches on top of them, like so. And on some of these torches we're going to put sticky pistons with a block in front of them. Now, how dense you want to make this is just a question of economy or whatever you want to call it. The more dense you have these, the quicker the recall will be. 
On our server, we put them at distances of 30. Basically, you're going to want this kind of structure. Now, what is going to happen if I press this button is this repeater is going to light up, this torch turns off, which of course turns this one on, and that extends the piston for as long as this clock is active. And there, once the clock stops being active, it opens up this tube, or whatever you want to call it. Now we're going to extend this and keep going like this all the way up to the build limit. And as often as you feel like it, you can put these little sections with a piston and then a sort of circle of blocks, and the circle should be too high. So you want a block in front of the piston and then a block on top of that, and then two blocks surrounding the hole, like so. I'm not going to build it all the way up right now, we're just going to do two of them as demonstration. Something you should also do is near the top you want two piston sections to be a little bit closer than the normal other ones, and I'll show you in a second here why that is. Alright, now we have these sections. What you can also choose if you want to do is if we want to go downwards from here, or if you just want to stop here. At some point you're going to want the bottom of this. If you're building this in a place where people are going to be, I would recommend that you try to extend this as far as possible. If you're building it sort of out in the middle of nowhere, where the mechanism doesn't get loaded until somebody comes to recall you, then you can just have this thing. You don't need as high of a device. Of course, it's convenient to just put it all the way down to wherever the ground level is, but you don't have to dig down. Regardless, what you're going to want is at the very bottom you want to place some water. Now, the second thing we're going to do is up top, at the very top of this, we're going to place a source block of water. This will then come all the way down through all of these hoops and all the way down into our other source block and end up there. This is the basics of the device. The way this works is pretty simple. You throw the ender pearl straight down, then you fly off. The ender pearl, as you might know, takes longer time to travel through water. So if I throw this down, it's not at all as fast as a normal ender pearl throw. So this gives us quite the time before we actually get teleported. If we build this all the way up to the build limit and then almost all the way down, we get a situation where we have about 70 seconds of travel time for the ender pearl in this water pillar. So that is plenty of time for you to jump off from the build limit up there and fly away from the central island. Once you're away a certain number of chunks, this whole mechanism will unload, your ender pearl will unload wherever it happens to be, and it's not going to travel further until somebody comes back here to load these chunks. Now once these chunks are loaded, it's going to start slowly traveling down, but you don't potentially want to have somebody sit around here for a minute waiting, and that's where you press the button that cuts off the water streams, makes the ender pearl hit whatever block is pushed in here, which is going to teleport you onto the block it hits. And then, of course, everything opens up again and the water comes back. You can demonstrate this by throwing an ender pearl here, just jumping off and immediately pressing the button, and you will see that I get teleported onto this block once the ender pearl hits. And that's really all there is to it. If you're building it downwards, you probably want to do more piston sections like this. And then instead of doing uh, just block, torch, block, you're going to do a torch to the side of the block. And then put a redstone dust on top of that. And then a torch on the side of that block. And then a redstone dust below that. And then so on. You alternate that way, just like you alternate upwards. It's just a little bit of a different mechanism. And then, of course, the pistons and the rings are built exactly the same way. And that, my friends, was everything for this time. My name is Sliced Lime. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>